We begin tonight with our focus on the weather as Hurricane Adalia heads for the Florida coast. But before we get to that, the record breaking heat we've been experiencing has left a five year old in Robertsdale with a second degree burn. Her mother says she got it going down a slide at school. Now she wants to raise awareness about what happened. When I got there, she was hysterical. She was crying. This burn is what caused five year old Callie to ball. Her mom, Tariana Marks, took this picture of the burn Friday afternoon and this picture Sunday. She says a doctor at the emergency room said it was a second degree burn. She can't sit on her bottom, so I can't send her to school. Mark says it happened while Callie, a kindergartner, was playing on one of the three playgrounds at Robertsdale Elementary School. Friday's high of 101 degrees broke a record in Mobile and was in the middle of a six day stretch of record breaking heat in our area. The injury report Marks received says the children were instructed not to go down the slides, but Callie did. Even though they said they warned them not to get on the slide, they're kids. I mean, she's only five. If someone should have been watching her and that should have never happened. A statement from the school system says in part, quote, this incident happened during a 15 minute recess used to give the students a break and get outside for a few minutes. The principal has since taped off all slides on campus in an effort to reemphasize the warning and instructions that were given to the students. The principal did speak with the parents regarding the details of the event. We hate that this unfortunate accident happened. Caution tape now blocks kids from going down the slides. She's terrified to go back to school and she just keeps asking me, Mommy, is it going to be winter when I go back? Because she doesn't want to go to the playground while it's hot anymore. Mark says her daughter will miss all this week of school due to the burn. NBC 15 News is dedicated to investigating issues that matter to you and your family. We want you to send us tips or alert us to problems you're seeing in our schools. Just give us a call at our Crisis in the Classroom tip line.